Hello and welcome to this video where we will be taking a look at the Minecraft Snapshot 18W47A for 1.14. Welcome to this series where we will we 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 we, we, we uh, where we will be taking a look at the newest snapshots for Minecraft and taking a look at what they contain. Let's get started. So in this snapshot, Mojang has some very interesting stuff to show us. First of all, they've added a new ruined slash temple slash structure to the game, I should say. The pillager outposts, and we can actually find those using the slash locate command. Locate and it should be pillager outpost right there. If I could actually type it, pillager outpost, we type that and I believe we just type that in and we can teleport to it and it should be around here somewhere as soon as the world begins to load. Okay, here we go. I had to log out and um, log back into the world for it to work. But this is the new pillager outpost. Very interesting. It got the pillager banners here. And we actually do have some more stuff to talk about the pillagers, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Also, huh. So we also got some stuff over here. I'm guessing this is like a cage. Um, we got a lot of pillagers here looking at me. Don't, don't, don't worry, I'm just checking it out. We got a tent over here with a crafting table. Pretty cool, but I want to see what's inside of this. So, this is a quick warning. If you don't want to see what's inside and want to wait for us, for yourself, um, wait and, well, move on in the video. <laughs> but if not, stay tuned and uh, we'll take a look at what's in here. I'm just gonna bust my way in here. Oh, okay. I feel a little bad now. Let's let's do that again. Okay, so we got a door here. Let us go in and looks like we got a staircase. And also we see the utilization of some new blocks that we have talked about before. And that is the multi cobblestone stairs. You were not able to um, make stairs of multi cobblestone before. All right, so let us move up here. So far, nothing other than windows. Looking pretty good though. I like the blocks and the structure of the structure. <laughs> and up here it looks like we got a chest. So let's open it. So this is some stuff here. We got some dago blocks and some potatoes. Bottle of enchanting. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Tripwire hook. And that's pretty much it. Now according to the wiki, we can't actually see too much about it because the actual pillager outpost has not been created as a page on the wiki as of recording this right now, but it definitely will be in the future. It says, can be found in any biome a village can be generated in. And over there, we actually got a village over there. We will be taking more, a closer look at that in a moment because we got some other stuff to take a look at. Um, and also, it uses the new jigsaw block for generation, which we covered in the last episode. And I don't think, no, you still cannot get it via the search or the creative inventory. You actually have to use a command to get it. Um, so yeah, that is the pillager outpost. I don't know if these things always will be there or if it varies from time to time, but um, there you go, a huge structure tower with these very cool banners. Awesome, very awesome. Let's talk about the other thing called raids. Now raids is a new gameplay mechanic that has been added to this snapshot and Raids starts when a player that has the potion effect of Bad Omen enters a village. And yes, Bad Omen is indeed a potion effect. If we do effect myself and we say Bad Omen, there you go. You get the Bad Omen effect if you kill a villager with the banner on their heads. Then you will get the Bad Omen effect. Now you may be asking, what will happen if I enter a village with the Bad Omen effect? Well, it will basically trigger a raid in that village, and we're going to try that on that village over there in just a moment. I'm just appreciating these banners here. They look pretty awesome. Also, I should mention that the illager with a banner on his head is actually an illager patrol leader. So if you kill that guy, you get the bad omen effect, and um, you shouldn't enter a village. But we're going to do it for science 
purposes and um, I'm going to you know what I'm going to quickly ask for permission I'm gonna be polite and ask for permission in this village you know what I'm gonna ask the blacksmith over here give me a moment hey sir will you allow me to make a quick experiment by having a specific potion effect and entering your village summoning a raid to your village and potentially making so that all of you die yes okay. oh okay perfect okay we got permission let's do it so let us go over here and let us go away from the from the village for a moment because I don't know actually how this will work yet. So if I do effect and I think if I just do that, okay, so we have a particle there. Um, it does not have a image up here, but we have 20 seconds of it. So if I just quickly go and give myself 100 seconds, just like that, that should be well over a minute. Let's see what will happen. I'm entering the village now. And okay, oh, something happened. Something happened. The effect is now gone. And yeah, the effect is definitely gone. Now the question is, ooh, we got a raid. The villagers has, are running inside quickly. Ooh, we got a raid over here, we got a raid. All right, so here we go, we got some, we got some pillagers and we also got an, a Vindicator, yes, Vindicator. Now these three seems to be it pretty much. Um, it says that pillagers, Vindicators, Evokers, and witches and illiterate beasts can spawn as part of the raid. So right here we have two pillagers and we have one vindicator. Now if we kill these guys real quick, maybe to summon another one. We kill this guy. As you can see, mobs remaining two. So let us kill these two right here. And do that. The good thing is the villagers actually take... Okay. They took... Oh dear. Nope. There we go. Okay, so the raid is now over. I killed the bad guys here. And I'm actually going to try that again to see what happened. So, all happened. So I'm going to give the effect to myself again. And I'm going to enter the village. That went. Now we just have to see when the raid starts, what will happen. All right, the raid has begun. We got some, ooh. We got four this time. We got two Vindicators, I believe, and two Pillagers. Not bad. I actually want to see... I actually want to try it one more time. So I'm going to keep killing these guys, and I'm going to spawn another raid. And, or cause another raid. And I'll be right back when I have done so. Where's the other guy hiding? All right, so this time three guys are coming from this side over here. So they seem to be picking different routes to take on this village. And here we have three guys again through two pillagers and one vindicator. So not bad. I'm just going to quickly kill these guys off so these villagers can have um, peace again. And there we go. Kill those guys. And we're actually going to try and get the bad omen effect from actually killing a pillager leader. If I can find one that is, oh wait, I'm missing one, it says. Hmm. Okay, so I actually can't find this last guy. Um, I'm not sure where he is, but I'm just going to leave him for now. And they will be able to deal with that. He's around here somewhere probably, but I don't got time to search for him all day. So we are going to try and find a pillager or a patrol leader and we'll try and see what happens. Now I just noticed that the mobs counted up to two and no longer just one as it was before. So I'm guessing if you just leave it, maybe the number keeps increasing or if you don't kill one or if you kill some but not the one, then it regenerates the raid with more people. But right now I just don't see any. So I don't know what's up with that, but yeah. Anyways, raids are now a thing, which I think is actually a pretty cool addition to the game. Also a thing to note, the boss bar up there, this one, disappears when you get out of the village. So you don't have to see it all the time. 
<laughs> also, I have not been able to find any pillager um, patrols. So we're going to move on to the next subject of this snapshot. All right, so the next thing in this snapshot is some bug changes, actually. Some textures, in fact. Um, they changed the textures of all logs and planks, as well as other blocks. Now, this is interesting. They do not just say what other blocks, but let us take a look at the logs and maybe see if we can directly see a difference from the previous textures. Um, here you've got them. I can't directly see a change. Maybe, I'm not sure. But that's interesting. Let us try and get the planks. Yeah, I think I can see a difference in these ones. I think. I think. I'm not sure. But they definitely have been changed and updated as well as other blocks that are not listed on the wiki and these are not placed right. Let me just fix that. There we go. The next thing has something to do with world generation and that is illogical patrols. And that is that they are actually less common. So that didn't help me with finding one, which I didn't do because I didn't find one. So thanks for that. And the last thing is that you now can use the slash locate command to find the pillager outpost. So that is pretty cool right there. And then that is all the new additions. And then we have four issues fixed from the 1.14 development versions. And that is pretty much it. So that is all the new features from the 18W47A staff chart. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, comment and share it with your friends. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and let me know if there's anything that I missed or that you have suggestions that I could do better. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.